Hey guys, just bringing you back for a little bit of a creative process with Aussie, you know? We're going to work some things out on camera because what we're going to need, or what I'm quickly realizing we're going to need, is a better way of getting supplies across the map because this is janky. This is temporary disgustingness and I never want to see it again, but for now, I need them to make the motors so it can stay. But for the main base, I don't want any of this crap coming in. So what we're going to try and do now is work out a solid way of moving materials across the map because knowing that stuff like this is going to happen and we're going to have these i guess weird lips like that i'm not sure if i want to just build a almost sky rail across the map if you will hang on let me get this on my bar sorry Oop. So I'm not sure if I want to go across like this for everything. Uh, seven, eight, seven, all right, okay. And just make everything on these, uh, I don't know, pathways, I guess. Why not? There we go. Because if we were to make them on pathways like this, what we would end up with is these weird poles in the middle. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so let's say we come down, right? So A, this is at different heights for whatever reason sometimes, which is weird. But let's say we've made our conveyor pole and we come down to here and make another one, just for example. And then we keep going down and make another one. What happens to the conveyor belt is it actually does this weird like wavy potato thing oh good bye come back does this weird wavy thing in the middle and i just do not like the look of it like why does it do that i don't understand but alternatively if you use this on, let me remove all of this sh shenanigans and you grab walls these 3b walls right and let's say you put a 3b wall down here 3B wall down there and one at the bottom. Uh, if it plays the game. There we go. What you can do now is you can bring the conveyor belts down. And they do the same thing, but it looks more uniform. I guess. I just wish that there was a way of sealing up the sides, you know? Because if we could seal up the sides, I could just, you know, be happy with it, you know? I mean, I guess that's not too bad. But that is a lot of building on this map. If I want to get the resources across the map like this. And then you've got to think that sometimes they're going to be multiple high. So we're going to need to come through like... This. Have you know, multiple conveyor belts coming through. And I'm not sure if I want to do it using this wall method or if I want to use the stackers. Because these, oh, not the conveyor belts, the stackers are easier. And we could probably just place them straight on the ground. Uh, but I just do not like the look of them. Whereas with this, it feels more bulky and more like... I guess industrial ish. Hmm. So this is gonna be a lot of work to get any resources anywhere. It's gonna be a huge job. Because what we're gonna to need to do is build out from the main base in. So that way these will line up. Which is gonna be a gigantic process. And then how are we gonna go on angles? Like we're not gonna be able to to make angles unless I do this. So let's bring up seven. So let's say I want to go on an angle to this. The only way that I can think of to do it is to try and like ad hoc janky connect them together and they're not going to sync properly. So I'm going to have to sit here and tinker with it a couple of times to get these to work. Like, you know, for instance, I reckon about, ah, uh, no. As you can see, very tedious. So but I feel like it has the potential to look really good if we can get it nailed. Oh my god, go away. 
Anyway, I'll um, put a little bit more thought into it. Work out what we're going to do. But I think this might be an option. You know, the, the Jenky Foundation trick where we just find a way of connecting these somehow. Maybe... I want to be able to have curves, but... What about that? Does that work? Why? Let's say we go two. That direction is going to be really hard to do it in, isn't it? I'm going to have to not be able to see. Yeah, okay. So if we go two and then intentionally overlap this side like that, how does that look? Well, that comes way out, doesn't it? Okay. Hmm. That's not going to fly. What if we do three? Is four a 45 degree angle? It may be. If we do four, and we line up those center lines, that's going to be pretty close, isn't it? is sort of close. It's not centered though, is it? At all. <laughs> right, maybe five. Is it five? Five clicks. We'll try five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like this is going to be too much though. Yeah, it is too much. Dang it. Dang it, man. These will never line up. Why is the game built like this? Why? Why do you have to be like this? Anyway, I'm going to keep tinkering around off camera and then I'll come back with you if I find something a bit better and more reliable than this. Radio, I think I'm going to go away from the whole sky bridge. Sky... Rail. I just don't like the idea of a whole heap of stuff floating in the sky. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to try to avoid it as long as possible, knowing that I'm probably going to, at some point, have to spiral conveyor belts on their, on their own to get them up. But anyway, for now, this is the design I think I'm going to go with for resource movement. So currently we've got six belts worth of um, resources for wherever we need to go. Uh, if we need to, we can also either stack it sideways like this and make it, you know, all of the belts, or we can even go up a little bit and make it every single belt ever made, just in case we need to. I think that'll be a much better option because that's way more easily expandable for me and I don't have to put down a so many conveyor, belt, uh, conveyor poles. Like, to build it, all I'll need to do is go through and you know, redo my hotbar a little bit, but it'll be as simple as, let's say for instance, um, that'll be five, uh, you will be six, and then I've still got seven and eight doesn't need to be there. So I'll just come down, find out where I want to put it there, you know, put down one of those, another one of those, and then one of you, come through, remove that, and it's done. Like. That's the complete thing. Then I just come through with conveyor belts and link the whole thing up. Pretty simple. And um, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And I can also split them off a little better. I just, they're a little thin, but realistically you don't have too many options in the game at this point for neatly transporting items without doing this jankiness which I just do not like at all. So this is what we're going to go with. Anyway, I'm going to um, go over to the main base and start building some of these super highways, I guess. And then I'll be back with you when I've made a few of them. Hey guys, I've been busy for the past couple of hours and I've made all the frames for our super highways to get all the resources to this main area where we're going to build the mega base. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to do a, a quick time lapse of each path 
so that you can see exactly where it goes and where it takes. Okay, so now I've shown you where this set of paths go, I'm going to do a quick time lapse down this set of paths. So as you can see we've got an absolute immense amount of belt that we need to place. So over the next um, little while between episodes I'm going to be sitting, sitting in satisfactory just AFKing, producing some materials. We're obviously going to need a ton of these, and if possible, depending on how far we get through um, our oil production, which we did a little bit of today, I've got a, a box of each material over there. A box, uh, actually, two boxes. Two boxes of rubber, plastic, and fuel. Um, I'm also producing these, so we may actually try and build them out of Mark IV belts if we can. Um, to start off with for the next episode but if not um next episode will definitely be playing playing with belts we're gonna connect all of these miners up so that we'll have all the materials over there ready to roll and that's what the next episode is going to be so it it won't be a super exciting episode i'm aware of that but um it's a lot of work to to lay all of that groundwork so just bear with me, once we get all the resources over there, we'll be able to pick the series back up again a lot and start building some really cool elaborate things. But, until then, I've been your host, Samozzi. Hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching Satisfactory. Bye!